In Colorado's far western reaches is a valley called Paradox. Within the surrounding bedrock run rich veins of uranium, fuel for the nation's incipient nuclear renaissance. A proposal to build the nation's first uranium mill in 25 years has divided the community. Between those who see good jobs and a stable economy, and neighbors fearful of uranium's history of health impacts, environmental harm, and unstable prices. Uranium has been a boom and bust industry in western Colorado. The nearby towns of Nucla and Natarita still struggle in the wake of the last bust in the early 1980s. The Miners Inn Cafe is among many boarded up businesses in downtown Natarita. The proposed Pinion Ridge Mill could create hundreds of jobs in the economically depressed county and bring the dormant uranium industry back to life. But cautionary tales abound from the uranium past. The deaths of many sick uranium workers and residents still haunt the area. The demolished company milling town of Yerevan, 16 miles from Natarita, had few measures in place to protect workers, residents, or the environment from uranium's harm. Mill supporters discount that history, arguing that regulations have drastically improved since Yerevan, with multiple government agencies now overseeing milling and mining operations. However, improved environmental regulations have found many problems with uranium milling in the United States. The Cotter Mill in Canyon City, Colorado has contaminated area groundwater and violated state regulations 99 times in the last decade. Back in Paradox, mill opponents cite potential impacts to air and water quality, wildlife habitat, and the cumulative stresses of increased mining in the area. Local environmental groups sued Montrose County for approving a permit for the mill on agricultural land and contested the mill's water rights, claiming impacts to the Dolores and Colorado rivers. Opponents say the mill will have negative economic impacts as well. Tourism and renewable energy development will bring safer, more stable economic growth, they say. In early January, the mill took one big step closer to construction when the Colorado Health Department approved its radioactive materials license. Now Energy Fuels Resources, the company proposing the mill, must obtain a handful of other federal, state, and local permits before breaking ground in 2012. As the cogs of the permitting process slowly turn, the uranium debate goes on in Paradox Valley, where the fate of the local community, as well as the nation's nuclear fuel cycle, is yet to be determined.